always say, and we were just talking about religions, religions make you do extremely stupid things. And I always say that if, you know, we go through these moments in our lives when we think that, okay, I'm so stupid. Like, for example, when I lock horns with Armin, I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat and I'm thinking, oh my God, what is he going to throw? Am I going to be able to defend my worldview or I'm going to embarrass <laughs> myself? So whenever that happens in my life or in your life, you can always find solace and content and some satisfaction and some joy that there are fully grown, supposedly rational people who do this. You ready, Armin? Yes, I'm very interested now. Ah, boom! Oh. He's getting so angry, <laughs> he's getting so carried away. He's coming again. Oh, this ruined my life, boom! And he's, and he's taking off his shoes. He's going to throw the shoes. No, 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 that's it. That's plenty. That's plenty. He's like, no, 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 I'll be back. Oh, my God. I'm going for it. For those of you who don't know what's going on here, <laughs> there is this terribly after Hajj. This old man, oh my he's, God. Got, he's got something. He, I think there's something personal. He, he's taking it personally against him. So there is a yes. ceremony in uh, after Hajj. It's called a, what is it called? Throwing stoning, uh, uh, stoning the devil. the devil. Yeah, stoning the devil. So there, there was this tiny little wall back in the day of the prophet. And it said after you do a hajj, and then you, um, then you punish, then Allah ties up shaitan to this wall and all these people go around and then throw stones at him. Um, and this is what this guy is doing. Oh, uh, and because there are more Muslims now, more Muslims go there, more Muslims perform this Hajj pilgrimage. Um, uh, so they have actually increased the number of walls. So basically the shaitan has actually increased in size. So this is what this guy is doing. <laughs> he's gained weight. Yeah, yeah, he's gained weight. And so he's getting he's getting more and more, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's becoming more powerful. And look at this, this guy is like, he he's like he's literally I think but but all jokes aside, Ahmed. <laughs> <Well, laughs> you know that's he, where but, that's where this devil came and um, tempted Abraham to not kill his son, kind of. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's devil. That, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So that's where you. So the story is that when Abraham was going to kill his son, um, Isma Ishmael, yeah. not yeah. Isaac. Ishmael in Arabic, in, in Islam, right? Isaac in Christianity and Judaism, Ishmael in uh, Islam. The devil came to him and says, like, dude, you're killing your own son, but you love your son. Why do you don't do that? And he's like, and Abraham said, go away, go away, the devil. And then the second time he came to him, like, dude, are you seriously going to do this? Killing your own son? That's not right. And then he was Abraham went, go away. Go. Yeah, yeah. And then the third time he came to Abraham, Abraham picked got to the ground and picked three stones and said, go away, Satan. And he's like, threw the stones at Satan. So now, based on that beautiful tradition of Abraham throwing stone at Satan, people now follow Abraham's model and they throw the stones, small stones at, at the devil, at the hedge. Right. But the but amount... This guy was doing it very aggressively, yeah. Yeah, but more uh, passionately, I think is the word, because, well, I guess. Mm. But, but it is comical. But... All jokes aside, imagine the state of mind of fully grown, ra supposedly rational people. We, you think that you have to be rational. I, it always fascinates me when I think that you would not run into a person, no matter how religious he is. If his car breaks down, he's not going to sit there and pray to his God. Oh, God, fix my car. He might do that, but he would also call RACV or he would call the mobile mechanic or whatever or get it towed away. He knows that if he doesn't take any action, the car would stay there. And he knows this. But... There is something so terrible about religion that people have this audacity to to contain two parallel thought processes and live their lives seemingly normally. So this guy, whatever problems he might have had, he might have you know cheated on his wife, or he might have wronged his son, or not taken care of his parents, or whatever it was. In this very moment, because by the way, you got to remember. When you perform Hajj, you become as though you have just come out of your mother's womb. Sinless. That's the belief. So 
he so he's performed this hajj and he's thinking i'm clean but this is something personal against that that devil when i when i did not look after my dying mother it was you when mm. i did not when i cheated on my wife and i got a boner and i accidentally slipped into this other woman's vagina that was you Fuck you mother you know, that was the passion that was displayed here but this actually happens only religion can can do this to an individual's brain isn't that amazing fascinating this is fascinating stuff um this other thing i wanted to always the, always the gingers always the gingers when it comes to that <laughs> this is not that kind of ginger this is this is different okay. stuff um, to have your questions answered on the next live stream become my patron today you can do so with as little as one dollar a month link in the description below